There have been events that have occurred in the last several weeks that have caused great concern to several pastors and ministry leaders from our community. Never before have I seen such a unified response by pastors in such a short period of time. Government leaders should not publicly promote an ideology that fundamentally opposes vast numbers of their constituents. For this reason, we must declare our deep disapproval of our Fresno City Hall being used to publicly endorse the pride flag and create deep division among our citizens. Furthermore, as representatives of Christian churches across our city, we must vigorously oppose the prayer during the flag raising ceremony, which mischaracterized the God of the Bible as the queer one and the ultimate transgressor. We are concerned with the Fresno Chaffee Zoo hosting a drag queen show, followed by a meet and greet where children will be present. Activists should not co-opt the publicly supported community institution to target kids and expose them to overly sexual behavior. Today we are counter protesting the religious community in Fresno that are protesting against Pride Day at the zoo which is a community event. And basically we're gonna have resources. It's gonna be a fun night from six to 9 p.m. And at the last half of that time, they're gonna have a family friendly drag show. But we're here to stand up and say, it's not what they're saying. And we're not sexualizing children. We all need God's mercy and grace, and we must extend that grace to one another. However, that grace does not come at an expense of truth. We cannot be silent concerning openly dangerous or offensive behaviors. Not speaking in itself is speaking, and not acting in itself is acting. I feel like it's false advertisement sometimes. I've actually been a part of a Christian institution for about two to three years in the past. Um, what they could do differently is uh, practice what they preach. So if you do truly love and support us and accept us, um, you would at least show that you're trying to learn how to support us. God's word tells us other people will know you by your love. And if you know anything about love, love has boundaries. I'm a parent of four children who are now adults. And because I love them, I did not say yes to everything they wanted to do. But all my friends are doing it. Everybody else is doing it. I'm your parent and I don't agree with it you're not going to do that, but I still love you. And that's the same way I see God when he gives us boundaries. And when his word says, I made you male and female, go and populate the earth, male and female. 